I think without a doubt, the abstract that uh, took the spotlight in this disease site in this specific niche, it's the Persephone trial. Um, the Persephone trial, it's a study that addresses the question of duration of trastuzumab. As you all know, the standard duration of trastuzumab in the adjuvant setting, it's 12 months. We decided to treat patients with 12 months based on data from the pivotal adjuvant trials, but we must remember that it was an arbitrary uh, duration. We know that longer duration is not better, as shown by the HAIR trial, but there's a lot of room to, to really ask ourselves if shorter durations can be of similar efficacy. This is a question that different trials have evaluated, the FAR trial in France, the HORT trial in, in uh, Greece, uh, and the Persephone trial it's the largest trial that we have so far. So this study, it's a uh, UK study. Investigators randomized a little bit over 4,000 patients. So it's the largest study that we have. And what they tried to do was to answer the question whether six months was as efficient as 12. So in a non-inferiority design, patients were randomized to receive our standard 12 months versus Six. And what this study demonstrated is that in terms of disease-free survival and overall survival at five years, six months, it's not inferior to 12 months. So, so very interesting and provocative results uh, that also confirm what we suspected in terms of the side effects of trastuzumab, mainly the cardiac toxicity associated with it. Patients receiving shorter duration had a lower rate of cardiac toxicity, and those that develop cardiac toxicity um, recover from it in a more rapid fashion. Um, despite the, the positive results and how interesting they are, I think there's some very interesting things that we must remember about this study. Um, the patient population is not necessarily representative of the patients that we treat today. In that study, uh, many patients receive treatment in a sequential manner, meaning they receive chemotherapy first followed by trastuzumab rather than concomitant uh, chemotherapy with trastuzumab as we treat most of our patients. And there is a small proportion of patients treated with anthracycline taxate-based chemotherapy. In the subgroup analysis with uh, p-values that were statistically significant for heterogeneity, we saw that patients that had uh, that receive concomitant chemoradiation therapy, that receive taxane-based chemotherapy, maybe in those the the six months may have not been uh, the favored approach. The subgroup analysis uh, that we have so far does not include lymph node negative patients, and I think that is a key population for us to really understand because as we de escalate therapies, very likely we need to be cautious and identify lower risk patients than from a clinical perspective are going to be those lymph node negatives. Today in the United States, most of us treat lymph node negative patients with a uh, less toxic and shorter regimen in terms of chemotherapy therapy with Taxol followed by Trastuzumab, and this regimen was not used in the Persephone trial. So, so we are going to have a, a little bit of a struggle trying to, to implement this result in the clinical trial, in, in the um, clinical practice setting. So again, I think it's a very important study. I think it's very interesting. Um, there's there's going to be some discussion about what to do. But today, with the information that we have, I think our standard continues to be 12 months, of course, in patients, unless there's any clear contraindication. Um, and, and maybe in the future, we'll be able to select patients that, that can have optimal outcomes with shorter durations.